dear students it is the sixth video about the week 12 in the previous videos we covered the two sections uh, result discussions and conclusions writing in scientific technical and business reports in this video we are will shortly brief about references appendixes clear referencing basically are the clues or are the say addresses of those writings newspapers books media research journals writers clear whom you have included in your discussion in your research fine remember this that scientific and research writing is not a cry in the wilderness it is not just saying something without a reason with simply a chaotic flow or under the opium effect it is very creative based on experiences observations of yours and as well as of the past people secondly whenever you express something you connect or link it with the other people who have already been doing it fine thereby <coughs> you mention those people their books their modules their models clear for example uh, computer sciences that now have reached to you has not been reached directly to you you are not the only a person who have received it that has traveled from years onward people studied their road books and they passed developed and they passed on the new theories now you are able to read <coughs> android technologies or uh, ios technologies they were not there hardly in 2000 in, uh, they were not in the market but later on the people developed and now they are going on similarly these <coughs> social apps they were not there in clear you got these idea of the social networking from the other people now modern days whosoever wants to build a app like social like twitter or like facebook or like imo or like these softwares he will definitely when working shall give the literature review below review the technology but who when was what was what is the ios and how was it developed and what are the benefits what type of tools are used clear from where he has taken the data he must include it in his book in his dissertation in his research paper otherwise that all will be called plagiarism let's read when writing your report you are required to cite any information that is not from your own research this is not only gives credit to the original author it increases the legitimacy of your findings it is important to remember that a reference list contains only sources actively used in your project it is not the bibliography or the reading lists clear these, these lines are very important that from your own research number one for example some idea some concept some reference some graph chart which is not yours which you have not designed if you are utilizing it give reference that i have taken it from this person it give credit contribution praises the original author furthermore it is also legitimate your findings that you are a honest person and mo mostly uh, this uh, what is called illegitimacy in the research writing is very common therefore they have called plagiarism rules and 
this and that. Different departments require different referencing styles. The most common can be found in their APS referencing style, IEEE referencing styles. These styles we will study in Shella when you are properly involved in uh, reading clear. Appendixes. The last portion where you write definitions, write the difficult terms and words. Your appendixes contain the bulk data from your research that are too large to include in the research section. Mean whatever you find different kind of data and information which is not possible logically and intelligent to put in the main sections of report that data when becomes necessary to put on that sense, uh, section is called appendix section that all the extra but important material you can fix out there fine that may include data sheets of the equipment used that data sheets normally in social research in uh, social sciences they use different kind of lesson plans test modules clear for example in computer sciences your uh, original code that is published and placed in the appendix is fine we use it as an, <coughs> an excel tables of the data or figures different tables and figures calculations if there are some integrated calculations are made clear or and code fine this is all about the scientific report writing dear students let me precisely say that a scientific report is specifically designed project with a proper problem statement or hypothesis and we adopt a specific methodology specific tool and technology we work on according to that methodology with a precise time clear later on when results are gathered up we write a result and that is called research section and after that those results are discussed from various references theories and modules that is very important after this when the results have been discussed and your problem statement is discussed properly then we conclude those results and the conclusion portion includes all the findings from all the sections and it finally agrees the writer or the reader that whether your hypothesis is proved or not proved it's up to the mark or not thank you very much